This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. You would make more in a semi, but as far as going off of previous experience over the road and everything, if you drive a straight truck for a while and then switch into a semi, for the semi drivers, we do require either six months within the last year over the road and a semi, or if we're going back further, we could do like uh, one year within the last two or two within the last five. So it depends on how long you're driving the straight truck. Um, if you don't have that semi over the road experience, we wouldn't be able to switch you into a semi. Welcome back drivers to the recruiter call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Bolt Express. They are looking for class A drivers for dedicated fleet owners, but they also looking for class A drivers uh for company side as well they also looking for splinter drivers and the straight truck drivers as well but in the facebook post that they're looking for it pretty much says um they're hiring commercial commercial class a drivers for dedicated fleet owners so i'm assuming there are some dedicated fleet owners that have some routes with connected on with boat is fresh you know like mercer panther you know companies like that uh, um i'm curious to know how much experience do you guys require for what what are you looking to drive uh, what are you looking well for? i'm i well i i i see the straight trucks out here so what 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 do i need to to drive mm -hmm. one of those so for the straight trucks, you need to have um, at least a Class B, and then you would need to have at least three months over the road experience in the past twelve months. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so if I if if I'm the if I was to come in for uh, orientation and all that good stuff, how would you mm -hmm. guys how would you guys get me up there? How long would it be, and what's the drug testing for? Um, it's a hair follicle drug test, and we get you there. However, um, where are you from? I'm from Ohio. Okay, so usually it's like, I don't know, um, bus, train, plane. However, you know, we work with you on that. Okay. Uh, we can get you here best way possible for to get you here. Okay. So um, it's a two-day orientation. We have them on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Okay. Um, you mentioned hair follicle. Mm-hmm. Um just that y'all don't do urine or or is it both because i we do hair oh just oh, okay because i'm because i'm kind of curious that you know for hair follicle you know i'm i i am a six-year truck driver um mm -hmm. the you know the fmcsa don't see hair follicle as uh as the as a viable that but they see that as viable now mm -hmm. am i missing something yeah, we've been no, uh, we've been doing it. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I don't know if there's anything's changed. I could check with my safety department to make sure, but <laughs> we changed last year, so maybe oh. something did change in that. And that's why we changed. I don't know. I'd have to check with my safety department on that, though. They're not the ones who do it, so. <laughs> but I, I'll have them check into that now, though. Okay. Uh, what's the pay per mile? Uh, for sure, it's forty cents all miles. Okay. Uh. 40 cent. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah. For instance, yeah, your average driver's average between eight to $1,100 weekly. Oh, okay. Okay. It's this, is this uh W2 pay or 1099 pay? That's W2. Okay. What's the, what's the benefits you guys offer? Full medical dental vision, a 401k. Okay. Awesome. Uh, rider policy and what's, and how old do my, uh, they must be at least, yep, we do. You're allowed to have a rider. They must be at least 21 years of age. Oh, okay. So I can't, so I can't bring my four-year-old or my 17-year-old with me, huh? No. The straight trucks that, you know, that I probably might be interested in driving, how, how often am I able to get home? Now, they're generally out two weeks at a time. Oh, okay. 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 So is this, uh, like, all 48s or is this a specific route i can choose or 
Well, we cover all 48 in Canada, but our core area is a lot of Midwest going into Texas. So most of it would be like uh, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, the Carolinas, that stretch there going down into Texas. Awesome. Um, so because it's kind of all over that whole area. Awesome. Because I'm noticing that you guys have a, a if I'm if I'm reading this right, I'm I'm reading from one of y'all uh, Facebook things, but it's for dedicated owners, Midwest to Laredo, Texas, right? Something like that. If it's an owner ad, it's bringing on your own straight track, the company straight tracks. It's Midwest going into Texas. Oh, okay. So it's not like a dedicated point A to point B kind of thing. You're right. All over that whole area. Awesome, awesome. I'm okay. I'm I'm good with that. Okay. Um, what okay. now? Now, what kind of straight trucks are these? Because I'm I'm seeing they like super sleepers. Like. Do it come with a refrigerator? Mm, I mean, do it come with like a whole dining room up in there? <laughs> it's it's got a lot in there. I I do more of the uh, non commercial side of things, so the Sprinter van. So I'm not quite as familiar with the straight trucks, but I know I was in one a long time ago. Um, they have you know the sleeping arrangements and everything, and then the ones that I saw had like the sink and the fridge and the right. you know, microwave and like all that stuff in there too. Okay, awesome. All right. So let me ask you this. Since you mentioned the uh, splinter vans, because I've seen a few of those as well. Um, I, I am a class A driver, though. But I'm curious to know, could I okay. could I switch between uh, between like if if I come in and say, hey, I want to drive the straight truck, but I want to switch over to driving the, the splinter van. Can I be able to do that? And would that have an effect on? how much I'll be making every week. Well, you would make more in a semi, but as far as going off of previous experience over the road and everything, if you drive a straight truck for a while and then switch into a semi, for the semi drivers, we do require either six months within the last year over the road in a semi, or if we're going back further, we could do like uh, one year within the last two or two within the last five. So it depends on how long you're driving the straight truck. Um, if you don't have that semi over the road experience, we wouldn't be able to switch you into a semi. Okay. 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 So somebody that comes in, well, let me ask you this, uh, because I do know a new, I, I know a lot of uh, kids that's coming out of, out of, out of truck driving school. So of course, mm -hmm. without that semi experience, they won't be able to jump in that, but, would they be able to jump into yeah. one of the sprinter vans or one of the straight trucks that's available through you guys? Yeah. Well, you don't need any experience for the sprinter vans. So of course. So that anybody could do. But for the straight trucks, we require at least three months over the road within the last year in a straight truck. Or if you're going to team up with somebody, if you're bringing a co-driver on with you, only one of you needs to have that three months. The other one wouldn't need it. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, do you guys, do you guys pay extra for going up in the Northeast? Nope. It would still be the same, you know, it'd be that Midwest going into Texas. We don't really go anywhere else that often. Um, you're talking about like up into New York and of course, yeah. up in that area. Well, you know what? I I don't think it would be yeah. too much of a, I don't think it would be too much of an issue for a person that's driving a straight truck or a splinter van to go up into New York. The issues is when we yeah, get up in these. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad, but we don't yeah. get into New York. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, is there a sign-on, uh, not a bonus, but sign-on incentives? See what we I did there? We do have a sign-on bonus. Um, <laughs> we do have a sign-on bonus. I don't know what it's at right now because I do non-commercial and we don't do sign-on bonus for the Sprinter vans, but for commercial let me look and see how much it's at right now. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate that you took the time out to take my call. Um, yeah. And okay. uh, again, like I said, this this man may not work out for me because, like you said, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm I'm a semi driver, but I might be interested in coming in okay. and you know driving a straight truck, you know, just to you know take a break okay. from it all. But uh, if I do, I will definitely give you guys a call back and uh, we could probably go from there. But I will share uh, the information that you give me or the information that she gave me as well with my network of drivers that I know. Sounds wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. So thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you.